Hi all, Ms. Sugo here. Today we are going to be working with parallelograms. Now there are four things you need to know about parallelograms. One is that opposite sides are congruent. Two is that opposite angles are congruent. Three is that consecutive angles are supplementary. And four is that diagonals bisect each other. Now we have a diagram here that kind of shows that relationship where these angles are congruent, these sides are congruent, and when we talk about diagonals bisecting each other, we're talking about AC and DB cutting each other in half, so that this part, BE, is congruent to this part, and this part is congruent to this part. So that's what we're working with here. Now, how does that apply? Well, let's look at an example from Delta Math. We have our first example, consecutive angles. They give us a parallelogram, and they say that in parallelogram ABCD, if the measurement of angle DAB is 35, what is the measurement of CDA? So we're thinking about what types of angles these are, and what the relationship is. Now these are consecutive angles because they're right next to each other and the relationship is that they are supplementary. Supplementary means to add up to 180 so we have 35 plus x equal to 180 and when we subtract 35 from both sides we get that x is equal to 145. Let's look at another example of parallelograms and angles. This example has opposite angles. You have parallelogram JKLM, where angle JKL is equal to 120, and angle LMJ is unknown. So I'm thinking of the relationship between these opposite angles, and if I look to this, um, this point in the video where we started, we see that opposite angles are congruent. So we have that if angle K is 120, because they're congruent, 120 is equal to X, X is equal to 120. They're congruent. Now moving into diagonals, we saw that diagonals bisect each other. That means that this is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this. And they say that in this parallelogram ABCD, BE is equal to 10. And they're asking you to find ED. Well, we know that these are congruent. So if parallelogram diagonals bisect each other, that and BE is equal to 10, then because BE is congruent to ED, ED must also be 10. Okay, so these are the types of problems we're going to be facing when talking about diagonals. Um, let's do one more together. This is another diagonal problem, and we have parallel, parallelogram JKLM, where JL, the whole thing, is 28, and they want you to find JN. Now, I know that JN and NL are congruent. So because diagonals bisect each other, we're given that JL is equal to 28. We know that JN and NL are equal. And we also know that JN plus NL equals to JL. Once we have this, we're just plugging in that JN plus NL are equal to 28. But because they're equal to each other, we can just say JN plus JN is equal to 28. And when we combine these, we get 2JN is equal to 28. And when we divide both sides by 2, we get 14. And it makes sense. If this whole thing is 28, then JN is just half of 28. And half of 28 is 14. Check these out. Also on Delta Math, if you don't understand, you can have show example and they'll walk you through it. 
but everything you need to know about parallelograms in terms of our practice today is right over here. Opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent, consecutive angles are supplementary, and diagonals bisect each other. Hope you have fun with this, and if you need help, you know where to reach us.